Hey guys, Brad from Roto Heap. Wanted to uh, want to talk a little bit. Wanted to talk a little bit about David Montgomery. Um, I know the hype train was was going off the rails leading into Week One, and you know, honestly, last night's game wasn't amazing for Chicago. Um, the offense as a whole sputtered. Things didn't really go the way they had planned. Uh, the positive note, though, for David Montgomery owners is that he had, he led the team in carries. I know it wasn't much, six for eighteen. Um, he also had a really nice 27-yard reception. So um, I think it's interesting to see the way they pretty evenly split it up, that three, uh, the, the workload between three running backs. And I would tell you guys, don't be alarmed. Uh, give it time. The dude was much more talented than everybody else on the field um, when it came to rushing. You know, he made the most of his attempts. He was shedding blocks just like he did in college uh, at the pro game, at the pro level against some good competition. Uh, Green Bay's defense was solid. I mean, held the Bears to three points, you know. Uh, so I would tell you guys to, to not be too concerned. Um, I had him in starting lineups, and I'm probably going to keep him there. Uh, he's probably, you know, kind of a flex type guy, depending on what your running back situation looks like. Uh, redraft, I would probably be more careful depending on your league makeup. Um, we got to see how this continues to play out, but you know he got a nice workload uh, comparatively to the other running backs on the team. So uh, don't be afraid. Good things are still to come for David Montgomery, and we'll see you soon. Don't forget, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any more fantasy football content from the RotoHeat.com team. Also, right there, playlist. Hit it. Watch the videos. Do it. You want to. Do it.